good morning and welcome back to another week of training. I really only have one goal for this week and that is to complete every workout that is on my calendar. <clears throat> Still getting over my sickness. But the goal is to complete every workout that is on my calendar this week. I'll put up the calendar so you can see everything that I have planned. Last week was obviously an active recovery week and a little bit of a wash because I was sick. So it's gonna be a little challenging this week, probably getting all these workouts in, but I know I can do it obviously. But now I am headed to the gym. I have a long swim this morning and then a full body workout <clears throat> this afternoon. Yesterday was Monday, so it was an off day. I like having my off days on Mondays. So Tuesday is really the start of a training week. I made it to the gym for the first full body workout of the week. I've kind of changed up my workouts a little bit, so I'll put what this workout is up on the screen. But one thing that I've been doing lately is changing it to four sets of 15, because really my goal is to build more muscular endurance over really the next couple of weeks and months leading up to the race, and really just teach my muscles to be okay being in pain for a longer amount of time so obviously doing higher reps we'll do that a little bit lighter weight um, but right now I'm doing step ups and I've really enjoyed doing this lately I think I just added this a couple of weeks ago so it's just one legged step ups and really the whole purpose here is just to push up with power just to really feel it in the quads and just work on that explosiveness I feel like this exercise is obviously great for running, power and cycling. I feel like it really is beneficial in many different ways. It's exhausting though. So I have three more sets of this. I already did the leg press. And one other thing is I gotta figure out my workout schedule. Obviously all the Ironman workouts in the morning are gonna stay the same, but I think sometimes I'm gonna need to move these weight workouts to the morning as well. I just feel like now that it's the spring market, me as a real estate agent, like things are starting to get a little bit busier, so I can't just end my day a little early to go work out, and I don't really wanna work out at 7 p.m. either. So every day is just different, so I just gotta figure out what works. Some mornings I'm gonna start doing these workouts in the morning, and then some days it's gonna have to be in the afternoon, so. Oh, that last set just killed me. I don't know if you guys like rock, but this song, Shot in the Dark, just fired me up on that last set. That was good. You know, I want to pass out. Well, top of the morning, it is time to do a speed bike workout. I haven't done one of these and it's been almost two weeks now because since last week I was sick, I didn't do the speed bike workout. And then I, the only ride I did last week was the hour and a half ride that I had, what, on Saturday? So needless to say, this should be fun. Here, I'll record the screen too. All right, so now you can see the workout in the top left-hand corner. It's really just a lot of intervals. It looks like the hardest part is going to be the four minutes, maybe the four minutes at 235, and then maybe the five minutes at 220. Oh, there's a six minute too. So it looks like it's slowly ramp, gonna be ramping up this whole time. Let's just get this thing started. Let's make sure erg mode is on currently. We are good to go, so yeah. 12, oh, 15 minute warm up. Didn't it say 12 at the beginning? So yeah, for this workout, I am drinking electrolytes. It's the BPN electrolytes. Don't think I forgot. I'm still gonna do the run off the bike after this. So after this workout, I'm gonna do a 20 minute run off the bike. Just nice and easy. I think it's like 50 degrees outside, which is nice. It should feel nice out there. So yesterday was a successful day. I got the pool workout in. And then I got the full body workout. So now I just need to focus on today, which is really just this, I guess it's a brick workout. This brick workout this morning, and that's it for training today. And then we have tomorrow, which is another two a day, which tomorrow morning I'll have the speed run and then the second full body workout of the, of the week. Today's an exciting day though, because for one, Barry gets home from Florida. She's been gone since Saturday morning, but also today is finally the day that Lucky can go outside for the first time. So we're gonna wait until Barry gets home to do it so that she can 
see him as well. But man, I'm so excited for that. He can finally get his energy out. We can take him to the dog park. That's been one thing that's been tough, obviously. Raising a puppy in the city is you, you can't let him outside until he has most of his shots. So keeping him cooped up in the apartment has been tough. But every now and then we've been letting him run up and down the hallway. But today is the start of the rest of his life. So also one other thing, we're in March. It's starting to get a little bit warmer. I think within a month, I will be able to take this bike off the trainer and get outside for an outdoor ride, which I'm super excited about. But I was thinking about it and really, I'm only going to ride outside for the long run, the long rides, because I still want to be able to do these speed bike workouts and these threshold workouts on the trainer. So I'm gonna have to get good at taking this on and off. It'd be nice if a cycling company wanted to meet, wanted to send me a bike though, one I could keep on the trainer <laughs> and one dedicated to going outside that I never would have to worry about taking this damn thing off. But I guess I'll be, I become a pro at doing it because I need to have this set up for these speed workouts. This is the most accurate way to do it, I feel like. All right, so you see my workout. You see what I have planned. Just gonna focus on getting it done. Maybe I'll check in at some point. We'll see how I'm feeling. Wish me luck. Uh, I just finished the four minute set at 2.35 and my legs are burning so bad. Oh, how I've missed this feeling. So, I have not. This sucks ass. But I have just a five minute set at 2.20, three minute break. Well, at 1.15, it's not really a break. And then six minutes at 2.20. And then a 10 minute cool down. I'm scared for these next two sets, so. Those bad boys are burning right now. All right, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, just finished the six minute set. Now I just have a 10 minute cool down. That was tough today. That was really tough. I don't want to do this run. I don't want to do this run, but I have to. I'll thank myself later for it. <sighs> All right, let me finish this cool down and then we're out the door. Oh, it feels so nice out here. It's like 50 degrees. I changed my shirt though, because it was soaking wet. So it'd probably still be pretty cold if I was wearing that. But this is great. I haven't worn a short sleeve shirt and shorts out on a run in months. Spring is on the horizon, people. Spring is on the horizon. I'm so happy I got out on this run though. I really didn't want to. But I knew that once I got out here, I'd be happy I did. <sighs> Run complete. We got 2.53 miles. 7.55 pace. Not too bad. Now I gotta go get some fuel in my body. What a workout today. Just another Wednesday. Gotta make a quick pit stop. Nice little cold brew to rehydrate. That's nice. Look who's back. Hello. Hello. And look who's outside. Oh, because he stepped in a puddle. Come on. So yesterday was technically supposed to be his first day outside, but it was raining and we wanted him to have a good experience. So here we are. Are you having fun, Lucky? He's gonna have to learn what this leash is. Good boy. Good boy. You so excited? Are you so excited? Huh? <laughs> Finishing up his first little walk and then headed to the gym for a speed run this morning. I'll put the workout on the screen. We'll crank it out and I'll probably do my full body workout while I'm there as well so I don't have to go back later this afternoon. So that's gonna be the morning and this is your success. Just 
finish that run. It's a little over six miles. That was a good one, but the four sets of five minutes, I think it was at 7.6 miles an hour, really got me. I swear, 7.6 miles an hour on the treadmill is different than outside. Does anyone else feel that way? But speed run complete. And since I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and crank out the full body workout. This is the workout I'm gonna do. I'll probably be pretty tired today after doing these two workouts back to back, but thank God for caffeine. Doing those two workouts back to back is definitely not the easiest thing in the world. But I will say, it's nice knowing I don't have to go back there this afternoon. And also, since my level of intensity was obviously so high for the speed run, that intensity carried over into the workout. So I definitely felt more intensity in that full body workout than I do usually when I go in the afternoon. I don't know, just something I noticed. But I'm just happy to have those done for the day. Now I need coffee ASAP. Okay, so good morning. It is almost 6.30 or so, and it is time for the long brick workout that I normally have on Saturdays. It's been about two weeks since I've had a long one, so not really looking forward to it, I'll be honest. But what I am excited about is the fact that my new camera that I had mentioned before in one of the previous videos finally got here yesterday. So today is the first day trying it out. Let's just see how different this quality is. So this right now that you're watching is shown on the iPhone. So in two seconds, I'll switch over to the new camera. Well, in three seconds, three, two, one. Okay, so this is the new camera. This is pretty nice. It's great because there's like a little screen here so I can actually see myself. Let me actually film it on my iPhone so you can see it too. But this is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And it's cool because it like tracks everything. It tracks you in the screen. Another cool thing is if I like sit the camera down, it's tracking my face right now. It's like a gimbal. So if I like move around, it'll follow me. So this is pretty cool. It's almost like I have my own personal video person. This is great, this is so cool. I'm really kind of just procrastinating, if we're being honest. Time to hop on the bike, three hours and 40 minutes, and then a, I think, seven mile run. It's supposed to be a shorter run, but Barry is training for her half marathon, like I've mentioned before. And she's like, can you please do the run with me? So I'm just gonna suck it up and get it in, even though I probably shouldn't be running that far when I also have a long run tomorrow. But what are you gonna do? So for this long ride, I am going to do the Mega Pretzel, which is what I did, I think, for my last long ride. So let's compare it to how far I made it last time because I think my last long ride was three hours and 40 minutes. Let's see if I make it as far or if the elevation is different at all since it's the same route. But let's just get this bad boy started, why don't we? I hate clipping in because it's always so loud and I feel like I'm gonna wake up the whole damn building. One thing that's really nice, like having this other camera to use now, is that I can actually use my phone while I'm filming. Normally I'm always filming on this. This is a nice little change. But I wanted to talk about really quick while I start this bike workout, kick up the watts a little bit. Someone commented on the last video, last week's video, which if you haven't watched it, go up here, click on it. But they said, hey brother, this is Jason by the way. So thank you Jason for leaving this comment. Hope all is well with training this week. Quick question, who all do you watch for guidance, training tips, or motivation? I really like to watch a lot of the pros on YouTube. Like I watch Lionel Sanders, Sam Laidlaw, Lucy Charles Barkley, and a few other people primarily for motivation. You know, just kind of picking their brains and seeing how they think about training and it's cool just watching them. I mean, they, those people are not human, I feel like, especially doing the times that they do on these Ironman races. For actual like tips, I guess you could say, mainly for swimming, there's a YouTube channel called Effortless Swimming that I'll watch every now and then that I like a lot. Another one is 
the triathlon network i think it's that's what it's called that's another one that i like to watch and they always have really good tips for my first half iron man that's where i did a lot of my learning what was on that channel and i enjoyed them a lot but honestly when it comes to motivation i used to look for motivation a lot more when i first started but what i learned is you know motivation is fleeting it comes and goes so much when you're training for something like this you're training so much that you can't just like always rely on motivation to get you to start or to get you through the workout really what it is is relying more on just your discipline that's what it's been for me and just in the sense that you know motivation usually comes once you start whatever that thing is you want to do for instance I wasn't really motivated to get on this bike this morning, but instead of relying on motivation, I'm relying on discipline. So with my discipline, I just got on it. Am I motivated yet? No. But maybe in the next hour or so, my motivation will kick in. And I'm gonna wanna do well on this workout. Same thing with work. With me being a real estate agent, I have to prospect every single day. And if I relied on motivation, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't do it because motivation comes and goes so quickly, but my discipline kicks in and I just get started. And then once I've made a few calls, sent a few emails, and I get in that rhythm, that's when the motivation comes just to keep going. So that's my thoughts on that. It is always good to have a few motivational videos to go to, but again, I just like watching the pros. Well, thanks for asking that question, Jason, because that just made these first five minutes of this ride go by a lot faster just talking about that. <laughs> I really do appreciate it when you guys hop in the comments. It means a lot. And I love interacting with you. Again, like I mentioned before, it's, it's fun building this community. So I really appreciate you guys. All right, obviously you don't wanna watch me do a three hour and 40 minute ride. So I'm just gonna crank this out and maybe I'll check in at some point. I wish me luck. I'm gonna try to find something to watch. I have no idea what I wanna watch yet. I'm just gonna scroll YouTube and maybe find the show. And hopefully you like this new video quality, because I, I think I do. All right, I'm about 45 minutes in. I don't know about you guys, if you, if you guys keep up with the T100 series, the new PTO series, today is actually like the first race of the season down in Miami. The T100 World Tour, I guess YouTube channel, has been posting a lot of pre-race coverage stuff. So that's what I've been watching. And this stuff is actually pretty motivational. It's just so cool seeing like the athletes at the top of the food chain when it comes to triathlon. Again, these guys and girls are just beasts. It does motivate you to wanna to work harder though. Not that I'll ever be at that level, but just to try and become the best version of myself, you know? All right, I'm gonna keep watching and keep chopping away at these minutes and hours. My legs are already burning though. Climbed 700 feet on 10.8 miles. Nowhere close to being done though. Guys, get you somebody that will give you a snack. <laughs> Mid-ride. Nice little pick-me-up. Peanut butter, honey. Did you put chia seeds on it? Mmm. And banana. Oh yeah, that's good for me. Oh yeah, this is gonna save my life. I'm starting to get hungry. Thank God. Just ended the long ride. Oh, my ass hurts. <laughs> I will say though, I did not feel that strong on that ride. It was 53 miles, 4,600 feet of elevation. Yeah, three hours and 40 minutes. <sighs> but now I have the run. Yeah, that was not my favorite ride. Like an hour into it, I was like, okay, I'm ready to be done with it. But still got it done, which is the most important part. Now I just gotta put on my running shoes and get out the door and change. I can't go out there in this wet shirt. Oh, sometimes I just wanna cry, honestly. I got this, I got this. A 
about almost two miles into this run, I just checked my phone because my freaking watch died. So that's great. And we know how accurate the phone is when it comes to tracking runs. But I'm currently running on the west side, it actually kind of feels nice out here. It was cold at first. We're just gonna keep it a nice, easy pace. Take them around like an average of 10 minute mile. Got a nice little view here by the water. Should be a nice little run. And I got some good company with me. This is my first time running with a new camera too. So hopefully this sounds all right. And hopefully it's a pretty stable image. Uh-oh. Looks like we got something serious going on over here. I don't know what mile I'm at or what pace we're running at. I'm feeling like I need a gel right now. I'm actually trying a new one. Humana or Huma chia seed gel, I guess. Apples and cinnamon. So let's test it out. Don't worry, I'm not throwing the trash on the ground. Taste test. Oh wow. That's pretty good. I'd recommend these. These are good. What a nice little pick me up. complete what do we get you have to tell me seven miles mine says 6.1 miles an hour and three minutes was that like an hour and 20 minutes oh, my legs are killing me right now it's almost a five hour workout today oh my god my legs are hurting so bad though now i need some food and some coffee and a nap later all right now i gotta recover and then Got another one tomorrow. Yes. All right, so good morning. It is Sunday. It's the last workout day of the week. And then tomorrow is an off day, thank God. I have one more brick workout this week. Technically, the bike ride is optional, but I wanna do it because next week, next Saturday, I am actually not gonna be doing my brick workout, uh, the long ride, because that will be the day before the New York City Half Marathon. I really do wanna perform well for the Half Marathon and see how fast I can do it. So I wanna make sure I feel good going into it. But today's optional bike workout is, it's an optional bike torque session so this is actually my first i guess torque session of training which i didn't really know what that was until i started reading some of these pre-activity comments which i'll put on the screen but it says think of this like a bike specific gym strength workout it will increase cycling related leg strength i guess that's what torque is which will help you get more power out of each pedal stroke so that's what the workout is it's 47 minutes and then i'll put the actual workout on the screen as well and then i have a long run today's long run is an hour and 50 minutes i don't know if i will push it at the pace that i will be doing for the half marathon but we'll see how i feel when i get out there one thing though is my ass is still sore from yesterday I'm kind of nervous to get back on this bike. I don't normally get on the bike the day after a long bike ride, mainly for that reason. So this should, um, this should be fun. My legs are burning. I just finished all the main sets, now in an eight minute cool down. Yeah, it was three sets of nine minutes at 190, but on the first set, it was only 60 RPMs. So it was just a slow, gradual burn, and that sucked. That was not fun. But then the second set was at 70 RPMs, and then the third was at 80. Now I'm just gonna do this cool down. Got seven minutes left, and then we're out the door for the long run of the day. Feeling good, even though I don't sound like it. Okay, just got started on the run. I'm gonna try to do my best to keep it in zone two the whole way, but sometimes I can't control myself. 
feels nice out here though. It's like 45 degrees. It's actually a little sunny today. So let's have a good run. So for my last few runs, well my last few long runs, I haven't been wearing headphones. That has changed like everything for me when it comes to running. You know, I used to, when I would go running, I would not step out the door without a pair of headphones in. And people who ran without headphones, I would think like, what the hell is wrong with you? Are you crazy? Now that I've gotten into a routine with doing that, but not wearing them, now I just don't want to go back. Honestly, just like the mental clarity that you get while you're running when you don't have distractions in your ears is just, to me, my favorite new thing. Like I used to go on a long run and at the end of it, I would think to myself, what the hell happened? I don't remember anything I thought during the run. And now I can process so many of my thoughts. I just feel so mentally clear like I mentioned afterwards. And also it's helped me with my pace because now that I can hear my feet hitting the concrete and what my, I guess my RPMs for running, my cadence, it's helping me keep a more solid pace because instead of following along to the beat of the music, which is very up and down, it changes per song. I'm basically running to the beat of my footsteps and I can tell what pace I'm at based on how fast my feet are hitting the pavement or how slow they're hitting the pavement. So that has helped a ton and it's helped me be more consistent on my paces that I need to run. So if you haven't ran without headphones before, I highly recommend just giving it a try. It's worth it. I know it's scary at first. It was to me too. And it sucks at times, but you just learn how to have more positive self-talk throughout the run to keep you going instead of relying on music to do it. That's just my running thoughts for today. Another thing when it comes to thinking about you know, running without headphones is it is really my time to be creative. I get a lot of ideas when it comes to what I want to film for this channel, maybe ideas for work, prospecting, selling apartments, how I can build my professional and personal relationships. It's just really my time to myself to think about a lot of different things, reflect on this past week of training. How did I do? What could I do better? What did I do really well? A lot of different things to think about and not having music playing in my ears frees up that space to do so. Don't get me wrong, I still love running with headphones at times, especially for my speed runs. I need them. But for these long runs, the not wearing headphones works well. If you wear headphones during running, by all means, I get it. And I'm not telling you to change, but I do recommend trying it without it. You might enjoy it. I'll be honest, my legs are starting to feel really heavy and I'm starting to chafe a little bit. This last 45 minutes is just gonna be a real blast. Just keep going, keep pushing. Run complete, one hour, 50 minutes, 12.68 miles. That really sucked there at the end. My freaking legs are so heavy. Oh, that sucked, honestly. That last like 30 minutes, I really wanted to quit. <sighs> and I'm chafing so bad. I really thought it was gonna be a nice fun run, but my legs and chafing had other plans, I guess. Okay, so just got back from the run, showered, I'm cleaned, and now it's time for the best part of the day, which is to relax a little bit. Just kidding, I still have other things I have to do today. But really quick, I just wanted to go over, obviously the full stats for the week and everything that I got done. Uh, just to recap everything, I got my laptop right here, so I will put up training peaks on the screen so you can see what I'm looking at. But yeah, I got all the workouts done that I needed to get done this week. I even added in that extra run on Wednesday, which you can see the run off the bike. I got a total of three brick workouts, and that was the first time I've ever done three brick workouts in one week, so I'm super proud of that. Um, I did 
If you look over there on the right hand side, it's 13 hours and 28 minutes. I got a total of, let's see, 85 miles on the bike and 28.4 miles on the run, which is definitely the most volume I've done in a week, especially on the run. I haven't hit 20, I don't think I've gone over 25 miles in one week. So yeah, you know, I definitely built up volume this week. I feel good overall. My legs are definitely tired. It was a lot of volume, like I mentioned, but overall feel pretty good. I'm proud of it. I, but I couldn't be more excited for the rest day that I have tomorrow. I'm, I can't wait to just not do anything. Well, except work, of course. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, obviously, to stay up to date for all the future videos. Again, me documenting each week what it's like to train for an Ironman. And yeah, next week I'm running the New York City Half Marathon, uh, which I know I've talked about a few times. So I'm really pumped for that. Next week's going to be an exciting one. So yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. Please like this video if you did like it. It really helps me out a lot. It gives me a little bit of confidence that you guys actually like these videos when you do that. And it helps my channel with the algorithm, of course. So make sure you give it a thumbs up. And other than that, I hope you guys have a good week and I will see you guys next week for another week of training and the New York City Half Marathon. See you then.